this is a dynamic new contract that's fair to that's you know fair to the teachers, but most importantly, that's good for kids, and that's why it was when people looked at it. That's why they voted it up by more than 60 percent. But I want to just say one other thing, which is that in all this, Sandy happened, yeah. and the governor did an extraordinary job in terms of all the work in New Jersey. And, you know, this is the way government should work. Whether it's at the collective bargaining table or whether there is a disaster, you have lots of public employees who every single day are trying to make a difference in the lives of kids, lives of, 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 of a community. And here you had, we worked hard at the table to come up with something that was good for Newark. So when Randy and I first talked about this, I guess it was last February, we saw each other in Washington, and we were kind of at, at a stall point with the locals in terms of their negotiating. And I said to Randy, listen, if you really want to do something different, if you really want to try to put merit into this system, I'm willing to negotiate with you. And we would do what we needed to do. And I think that, that she looked at me and said, if you're, if you're willing, I'm willing. So I think, Joe, what we're doing is we're showing people that I didn't abandon my principles because I believe merit should be a part of these considerations. Randy didn't abandon her principles or the local, uh, but we found that boulevard of compromise that exists between compromising your principles, which neither one of us would ever do, no. and getting everything you want, which you're never going to get. You're never there is always get, a boulevard right. between there, sometimes broad, sometimes narrow. The job of a leader is to find the way out to that boulevard and to make progress for the people of your state. Because at so, the end of the day, it was about every time we had a problem at the table, it was about what is going to work for the kids in Newark and what the governor and the, the, you know, the superintendent understood. And Joe DeGrasso, the leader, is an amazing leader of the Newark, of, of the New York Union. But yeah. what we understood was what's going to work to enable teachers who we need to recruit, retain and support to do their jobs for kids. And, and long term, it's not just individual teachers, but it's the community of Newark 